Andy. I feel like we've waited such an incredibly long time for this day to finally arrive. We've been through so much together, and I never could have believed that someone could love me, support me, and be such a perfect partner to me as you have been throughout the years. I still remember first meeting you in college and going on our Peru medical volunteering trip together. I remember thinking that you were so beautiful and so perfect. I worked so hard to get you. All the million, all the million text messages. And once you finally noticed me, I was never going to let you go. Chris, I can't believe that today is finally here. It's hard to believe that we met when we're just 19 and 20 on a medical mission trip to Peru. Oh my. <laughs> we all know you try to play it cool by completely ignoring me. Attempted to earn major brownie points from Mama Yang at the airport with your over-eager, high-toned hello that only reconfirmed my thoughts of you being weird. But thanks to your persistent daily text, I finally agreed to go on a first date with you. <laughs> Don't cry. <laughs> You're so pretty, you're so beautiful. Hey, it's like the waterworks, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> You've stayed with me through the ups and the downs. There were so many times that I've wanted to give up on my career, especially when the going got tough. But you've been my rock and helped to keep me going. You've been my number one supporter no matter what has been going on. Do you remember all those long nights that we stayed up together? Half the time you didn't even need to stay up, but you did, just to support me, knowing that I would have a hard time staying up alone. I don't know where you got the strength, but I know for a fact that without you, I wouldn't be where I am today. Whoa. <laughs> Hi. 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 어려운 힘든 일 있고 어려운 일 있어도 서로 도와주며 서로 마음에서 잘 살아야 됩니다. The past 11 and a half years have been the best years of my life. There has been countless ups and downs. We've been tried and tested. Thank you for selflessly loving me and pushing me to go after my dreams, even if it meant that we would be apart. I vow to always cheer you on, be your crazed fan and best friend. I promise to binge The Office and Friends for the billionth time together and celebrate your most anticipated day of the week, Friday date night, that makes you break out into a little dance. Sandy, you are truly my better half. I can't imagine a more perfect person to spend the rest of my life with. I promise to love you, honor you, and cherish you. I know I won't be the perfect husband, but I can promise you that I will try my very best every single day to make you happy and bring a smile to your face. And since I know how much you love it, I also promise that football season will only come once a year and that I'll only sing the Sunday Night Football song by Carrie Underwood 17 times a year. <laughs> Maybe 19, I don't know. <laughs> Sandy, I love you so much, so much more than words can ever express. I promise to laugh, cry, and dance with you. I promise to sit with you in the dark when you can't see the bright side. I vow to be by your side when you're catching all the bugs, taking out the trash, doing dishes, and cleaning up after our future pup and kitty. I promise to be by your side until we are old and wrinkly with gummy smiles. I can't wait to call you my forever home. I love you forever and ever. I now pronounce you husband and wife, but therefore God has joined together. Let no man separate. Son, you may now kiss the bride. For the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Christopher and Sandra Lee. There's a quiet moving. Yeah.
friendship is an oldie but a goodie. Quite literally, she and I have been best friends since in the diaper. I've had the unique pleasure of seeing her grow and blossom from a shy little girl to a confident, selfless, and compassionate woman. I'll never forget the moment Sandy first told me she had begun talking to a boy. She was so anxious. She's going to hate me for saying this. <laughs> she was so anxious as to how to respond to his text messages that we spent all afternoon carefully concocting all the different ways to respond to a hi, how are you? Hey, how's it going? It's a very difficult task. This is my favorite memory of Sandy because for the first time in all the years I've known her, I got to see a totally new side of her. Then over time as I dated, I witnessed my dear old friend just soften and melt into Chris. For that, I thank you, Chris, for providing Sandy with the consistency, safety, and security, allowing her to just let go and experience a love of a lifetime. I had the unlucky experience of knowing Chris before Sandy, in the primal years, if you will, when him and I met during our freshman year at UCSD. Looking back, my first memory of Chris was him taking on the role of the dorm room dad, where on one hand, he occasionally sliced fruit for all of us, and on the other, at one point lectured somebody for leaving some sand from the beach in the shower, reminding him it was bad for the building's drainage. Chris, Sandy, I'm so happy that you two found each other. And after 11 and a half years, I'm just so happy to be standing here today at your wedding. It's, it feels like forever. <laughs> It's been an honor to get to know both of you over that time, and I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you for bringing me into your life. When I first found out through my mom that someone was persistently pursuing Sandy, I, I, I looked at my mom and I laughed. And I was like, really? Another one? Like, Sandy is going to say no. But you know what, folks? When you chop a tree enough, what happens? It falls down. That was Chris's ultimate plan. The long game, his cheery disposition, the way that he can break out into any dance move, even without music, uh, the way he puts a smile on Sandy's face, uh, his effort to learn Korean, to love my folks. Uh, I even admire uh, his attempts to eat vegetables. Um, so as your sister, uh, my wish is really simple. I hope you both age like fine wine. I hope you take life slower like a good old country song and wake up every morning feeling loved and accepted by each other. Sandy and Chris, we applaud you, we support you, we love you, and we celebrate you today. So please, if you may, grab your glasses. We raise a glass to this happy couple. Cheers to Sandy and Chris. Thank you.